Good day, good people. Coming on quickly to give you guys a very, very, very specific reading. This is not a general reading for everybody. This reading is for Taurus people, okay? For Taurus people. Taurus rising, Taurus sun, Taurus moon, Venus, and Taurus, okay? This is who this message will be channeled for. And if you have any of those placements, then I suggest that you watch because I'm going to channel a very beautiful message, okay? You guys know I am a Taurus, and uh, I have a lot of different Taurus placements. I have a beautiful um, placement in the in the house of Taurus, which is the second house, okay? So, if you have a lot of Venusian energy, um, then you will most definitely feel this reading, okay? So, without further ado, I call upon the love, I call upon the light, and I call upon the Holy Spirit to bring about a very beautiful and divine message for those of us with these Taurus placements, okay? One more time. Okay, okay. Woo! I love it though. <laughs> and and I don't <laughs> I don't know about for anybody else, but I know for me, love is in the air. Love has been in the air, okay? <laughs> so what we have is the ace of cups, okay? Transformation or the death card. Four of Swords and the Lovers card, okay? So I'm loving it already, loving it already. So right off the top, I can say without um, any doubt that the grand portion of Taurus people, okay, um, no matter this placement, are ready for new love, new satisfaction, new fulfillment, okay? Um, something has taken place within the last four years, okay? The last four years, four specifically, okay? That has caused a transformation in how you look at love, the type of love you want, the type of love you're, you're now able to give, how you are able to receive it. A grand, grand, it's almost like a new paradigm has taken place for the Taurus people, okay? Again, no matter where their placement is, Taurus rising, Taurus sun, Taurus moon, Venus, and Taurus, there is a, a new attitude about love. There's a new attitude about relationships. There's a new attitude about romance. And there's even an upgrade in the type of person that you want to receive and give your love to, okay? Now, this four of swords is... <laughs> I can I can I know that some of us, okay, some of us probably have been dreaming about partners. Um, you may have even met a soulmate or a twin flame while you were asleep, or you may have dreamed or thought you were dreaming about a past life relationship, okay? Or you may have even dreamed about somebody that you recently, you well, in this life had a relationship with, and you probably woke up like, what? Like, mm -mm, I don't think I want to go back that route. And I'm saying for a small few of you, you've already had your soulmate, but some things took place. You guys had to separate and something's going to bring y'all back together. For some of you, that's already happening. For another few of you, it will happen. And for some of you, it won't happen at all because that's not your particular timeline. It's not your particular story. For some of you, brand new love is coming, okay? But for, 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 for a certain few of you, you've already been with your person. You separated because things had to um, 
you guys had to grow. You had to spiral and grow. You had to go experience some things um, and you couldn't uh, do it together. These things had to happen while you were, you were apart. So what felt like a very, very traumatic breakup, what felt like a very um, uh, mind boggling, I just can't believe this happened to us because I thought we were so perfect together type of scenario um, is going to um, come back together okay and the reason that you felt the way you felt about it and was so deeply hurt because on a cellular level on a soul level you knew you had met your person so you're like never in a million years that I think we would not be together but it was all divine order and for y'all for those of you who felt that way you're going to come back in alignment with that person okay it's written. It's 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 written. It's divine. And you don't have to take my word for it. It's probably already happening in your life. So this reading is just confirming it. Okay. You don't have to look for it. It's already happening. And little synchronicities and little um little uh, signs are already showing up in your life. The person has probably already reached out. Okay. Or you just recently ran into them. Okay. Or something in your mind has been, you know, kind of you know, I wonder what they're doing type of energy. And guess what? They're doing the same thing. They may not even be Taurus. Okay. I'm saying your this person. Okay. Is probably thinking of you too, though. You're the Taurus. So you know, what's up. Okay. Cause, and, and you're listening to this reading. So it's making sense and you're connecting dots, but your person just out of the blue, probably started to feel a little tingle, okay, about you, okay? And that created a spark that created another spark that's creating another spark that's creating a whole path that's going to bring y'all back into alignment. You're going to run into them at Walgreens. You're going to run into them at the gas station. You're going to run into them at a party. You're going to run into them somewhere. Uh, your, they're going to be somewhere in your immediate environment. And that's going to connect all of those little sparks, okay? And uh, y'all are going to rekindle, um, but it's going to be on such a deeper, better, more intense level, okay? Not because, oh, it's just so meant to be, but that too, but more so because... Uh, they've grown, they've went through some things, you've grown, you've went through some things. And like that old little saying goes, sometimes it takes a separation to bring about appreciation, okay? So the years that y'all have been apart from one another, each of you have grown in areas that maybe back then you were still very immature in, okay? All right, so let's pull more cards. Thank you, Spirit, for three more cards. I'll show you, I'll show you, I'll show you. If you are feeling this if you are feeling this drop a rose down in the comment section please and thank you okay so the three of swords or the three of staffs whichever you know you're used to hearing uh, i'm sorry three of wands or three of staffs has come out and this just talks about you looking out into um the new horizon that's available to you, looking out into this new opportunity and knowing what it is that you want and how you're going to go about getting what you want. So, um, like I said, a few of you, you've already put out such a beautiful love call, okay? From a soul level, you've already said, I am ready for love. This is this is a very India Irish energy, okay? I am ready for love. Okay, Spirit is telling me that this might be for Scorpios too, okay? For a few of you Scorpios. I, I don't know why I was told to say that, but we got to follow what um what Spirit says. So for a few of you Scorpios, and I can understand that because you all are balanced with our energy, okay? Because you're directly across from us, okay? But yeah, you're ready for love. And and you're willing to do what it takes. You're you're ready. To, uh, it's almost like you are in alignment with yourself now. I believe that somebody or somebody's or maybe all of us, okay, when we had the uh, uh, the true love or when we thought we were ready for that true love or when we thought we wanted that true love, we were not necessarily in alignment with our with ourselves um, enough to hold on to that. So again, we had to separate from our true love, okay, to to get ourselves together. And that's what life is all about anyway. It ain't nothing but a consistent spiraling into 
you know, the, the never ending story of life because it's, it's constant. It never stops. Okay. So this three of cards is just giving me that type three of, <laughs> sorry, three of cards, funny. This three of staffs is giving me that energy. Like you're ready now. You are in alignment with every level of yourself. Okay. Every level of yourself and you're ready. You, you're called, you called it in and now you're just waiting for it. Okay. You've called it in and now you are waiting patiently in alignment and very, very at ease because you know it's coming. I love this reading. I love this reading because it shows growth. It shows a steady incline of um, growth. Okay. Transformation always uh, follows growth. Okay. Always follows growth. I believe, too, um, before I pull these next two cards, I believe, too, that this transformation caused a tower moment, okay? Or the or the tower moment may have caused the transformation. For some of you, it was the breakup. For some of you, the, the transformation or the tower was the breakup or losing that person, okay? And then some of you just didn't feel adequate. You didn't feel confident. You didn't feel your self-esteem was low, so you sabotaged what you had okay okay some of some of you dealt with that directly you sabot you had a good relationship and you sabotaged it because you yourself were not confident that you could be you know all that you could be to to your person okay and the, nothing's wrong with that okay that was just your soul letting you know you got a little more growing up to do before you can really give this soul the fulfillment that it deserves because the person might have been very very mature okay and maybe you just were not Maybe you were not mature. So again, you sabotaged the relationship unknowingly, okay? And then some of you may have done it knowingly. Just everybody's on everybody's a different soul mission and, and understands things about themselves, you know, differently. So some of you, you knew you were immature. You knew you were lacking the esteem that you needed and you were low on confidence. And then some of you didn't know what you were experiencing. You just knew you didn't feel good enough, okay? And that was your tower, okay? That was your tower, Oh, this is such a beautiful message, and it's a lot. I can tell that I'm not going to be able to give the full. Oh, Lord, look at that. Look at the victory. Look at the victory. Coming on around the mountain when she comes. Victory is a woman. <laughs> but yes, yes. So this, just, this has come out to confirm what I'm saying, that you are in alignment now. So everything that you are calling to you will roll into you and roll onto you victoriously because you're no longer in, you don't have a victim mindset or you, and you don't have this um, blame game mindset. It's like you've done the work, okay? And now that you've done the work, now you can reap the rewards, okay? So the Six of Swords has come out to confirm what I was already saying. You are ready for love and you deserve that which you desire because you've done the work. Thank you, Spirit, for one more card and then I'll wrap this reading up. I say, dropping cards, knocking the phone over, Lord. Okay, so no better way to end this reading than with the Ace of Pentacles, okay? God-given material force. This is a gift, okay? When them aces come out, that is your ancestors handing you whatever um, the suit is. If it's a sword, you're being handed trust and fortitude and the ability to cut through stuff. It's, if it's a cup, you're being given fulfillment, given satisfaction, given intimacy, given new love. If 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 it's if it's a wand, then you're being given energy and ambition and all of that good stuff, okay? In your case, you've been given intimacy, love, fulfillment, satisfaction, and a reconnection to Venusian type of um fulfillment, okay? Then you have the Ace of Pentacles being given material force. And when I say material force, that's not just things, a car, a house, money, earrings, wallets of brand name purses and all that good shit. It, it includes that, but it's not limited to that. Okay. Um, 
this because this is a beautiful reading about your heart space and love this is telling you that you are going to meet that person or you're going to call back in or 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 have already called in that person that's going to stabilize your heart they're going to stabilize your um how you view a relationship okay your person whether they are new or coming back rekindled because it's a kindred spirit that you're going to reconnect with either way they're coming back in and they are a gift what they're bringing into your life is a gift and vice versa who you are now is going to be a gift to them so you got two god god given gift cards use these free tickets <laughs> Okay, because not everybody is moving and flowing and rolling in this energy. This is not everybody's reading. Okay, there are some people that are experiencing the exact, the exact opposite of this. Okay, but Taurus people, Ta Venus in Taurus, Sun Taurus, Taurus rising, Moon in Taurus. This is your energy. This is your reading. Okay, claim this and move in it. Okay, like I said earlier, some of you are already experiencing it. You are already seeing signs and synchronicities of it. Uh, and some of you will begin to see it. Either way, stand in it. Look for it. Move in it. Okay, if by chance uh, this is not your story and you are a Taurus, Sun, Taurus, Moon, Taurus rising, Taurus, Venus. Okay, and you're like, what is she talking about? I ain't feeling none of this. I ain't got nobody. If, you, if that's how you feeling, I can guarantee you, you are not finished growing. You have halted your growth. You have uh, probably um, been involved in very unhealthy behavior, unhealthy, you know, things. And you've halted or stunted your growth. Therefore, you could be a little further on the path and, and in alignment with this reading, but you did something or you had an attitude that caused you to have to stop and um, you're having to fix something. That doesn't mean that this isn't available to you. It's just not available to you until you get out, get unstuck. Okay, get unstuck. You're, you're stuck back here for a reason. Okay. And like I said, it's probably something that you've done. It's a thought process. Or some type of action that you took that wasn't conducive to who you really are. A lot of times when we act out of character or we act against who we are, it it halts the growth. Okay? It halts the growth. So go. Th I think you might still be stuck in this transformation and you're still transforming. Okay? You're just going to be a little later than everybody else. It's not that this isn't available to you. It's just not available now because you're spiraling through your transformation and you will eventually get to this and you will feel it. And that might, you might watch this reading this time next year and be like, oh, I feel this next month, next week. Okay. It, it, it's because this is timeless. Okay. This is a very timeless reading. However, most or the majority are going to be feeling this energy right now. If you've watched this in its entirety, thank you. Thank you so much. If you are in need of a reading, just DM me to get started. And I am wishing love, luck, life, bless, light, and all of that ooey gooey good stuff to each and every last one of you. Peace.